What's going on guys, gitchy 1230 here with some Black Ops 3, also known as Blobs 3, also known as Titanfall 2. Wait, Titanfall 2? Uh, well actually yes, there are people on the internet referring to Black Ops 3 as Titanfall 2. And for reasons that are actually kind of obvious, after watching the trailer through the first time, which is playing in the background right now, it's, uh, it's not really difficult to find out why people are referring to this game as Titanfall 2. So, I kind of want to make that the discussion topic for today's video. So, anyways, yeah, the new trailer for Black Ops 3 was released yesterday, and like I said, it's playing in the background right now, and, uh, you know, I'm gonna be honest, it looks really cool so far. It definitely looks awesome, but there are some parts that kind of looks like, you know, something that we might have seen before. Maybe something along the lines of, I don't know, the wall running, the mech suits, the robots. I mean, this game undeniably has a lot of influence from Titanfall, and also maybe even other games such as Destiny. Now, is that a bad thing? Uh, well, I don't know. It kind of depends on how you look at it. Most likely here, Infinity Ward is taking advantage of a market that they know exists. Because Titanfall was a really successful game, uh, a lot of people regard it as the best first-person shooter currently out on Xbox One, and so, uh, you know, it was massively popular at the beginning, but for some reason, it just kind of fell off. Even though it's still a really highly regarded game. I mean, very few times will you hear people saying, oh, Titanfall sucked, and things like that. You really only hear about just overwhelming positivity surrounding the game from its controls to just how fluid everything is and the gameplay, everything about it was just really smooth. But for some reason, it just kind of died out. So what Infinity Ward is doing here now is taking advantage of a market that they know exists, and that's the futuristic shooter. They brought back the wall running that we kind of saw in Titanfall, they're bringing over the mech suits, and they're kind of just bringing over the whole feel of that game. Now, obviously, I don't want to say it's downright completely copying it, but there's some definite, undeniable influence. So now I guess the question that arises from this that we want to try to answer is, will Call of Duty be able to do this genre better than Titanfall did it? And by this genre, I mean the futuristic shooter, the type of game with these mech suits and wall running and parkour influence and all those types of things, will Call of Duty be able to do it better? Because like I said, Titanfall was a really good game. It got really good reviews, and if Call of Duty is going to try to basically copy it, for lack of a better term, they better make sure that they're doing it well. Because this is kind of a low blow to the developers of Titanfall before they even get a chance to come out with Titanfall 2. It's like, basically, Treyarch is trying to beat Titanfall to Titanfall 2 before they can even do it themselves. They're trying to make this Call of Duty the Titanfall 2 that everybody is waiting for and anticipating. So will they be able to do it? It's really hard to say at this point. I mean, we've got quite a few months until release, but, uh, you know, having said everything that I've said up to this point, there are some definite things that set the two games apart. I don't want people, you know, running to the comments to say, these are not copying each other, blah blah blah. Uh, you know, th there's definitely the things that set them apart, things that make uh, Titanfall Titanfall, and the things that make Call of Duty Call of Duty, but as I keep saying, there are definitely some really, really close things that kind of make these games the identical genre. Just the futuristic aspect of them, the mech suits, the the parkour, the robots, the fact that they're both online first-person shooters, there are just a lot of similarities. So really, it's going to come down to just who can do it better, who can offer better online support, and just give it a better replay value, and Titanfall is going to be hard to beat. So, uh, you know, to Treyarch, you've got your work cut out for you. We'll see what you're able to pull off in the next coming months, and see if you can psych us up for this game. So far, it looks pretty cool. But with that, guys, please tell me what you think of this in the comments below. Is Black Ops 3 kind of like a ripoff of Titanfall? Fall 2, or do you feel like it's its own kind of genre, or not necessarily its own genre, but its own style, its own game? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you all think. So with that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.